Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to show you how you can change fluid in an automatic transmission that doesn't have a dipstick. And in this case, it's even beyond an automatic transmission. It's a CVT transmission. And as I've said before, sometimes they call this a lifetime fluid. And yeah, I argued with the engineers on that. All oh, the fluids are good for the lifetime of the transmission. And then they say, it's good as long as the transmission is good. So I always ask them, well, what's the warranty on that? Oh, well, it's 60,000 miles. And I'm like, hey, I expect to get 260,000 miles like in my Celica there. Change the fluid. Don't listen to them. It gets dirty. It needs changing. And a lot of times it isn't as bad as you think. Just jack the driver's side up in the air. Then get an empty drain pan and put it under the transmission. Then we get some Allen wrenches. It's a six millimeter Allen wrench. We go under the vehicle. And right here is a drain plug. It should fit right in. Amazingly enough, it does. And since I'm weak as hell, I'm going to stick this extension on here. Giant crescent wrench so I can pull it off. Because they can be on super tight. There we go. Now it'll come off. We take that out of there. We don't want it dripping in there. And we have to deal with that. The rest just comes off with fingers. And out it comes. And you got to notice something that not that much drips out. There's not much in there. That's because... There's another thing you have to take off inside once this stops dripping. You get your six millimeter Allen wrench again, put the long end in the hole, and when you feel around, there we go, there's an insert there. And we're gonna be taking that insert out. You just keep turning. It's generally a plastic piece, so it feels a little weird, but you just keep screwing. Here it comes, it's coming. There it goes, and now it's draining the main amount out. As you can see here, there's the plastic part. We just let it all drain. Then while it's draining, we gotta take the wheel off to get to the add plug. We just take it off. Then so you unscrew the cover, and there is the add bolt right there. You take that off, that's where you fill it back up. You just unscrew that, and there's where you pump the fluid back in. But before you do that, screw this back in and screw the bottom plug on too. Or the lot's dripping the ground. We'll just go back under the vehicle. There's where it's dripping from. We just stick this back in the hole and screw it in place. Takes a while, cause there's quite a bit of threads. Just keep screwing it until it's in. Then get your drain plug with the new little gasket so it won't leak. And screw that back on. And get it nice and tight. And here again we'll use the crescent wrench and the allen wrench and get it nice and tight so it doesn't leak. And of course then wipe all the mess off. You don't want fluid all over the place so we'll wipe the mess off. Then of course the big question is how much fluid you put back in? Well you put in what you took out. So do what I do. Have an empty quart. Pump it in to measure how much is in here. Just stick it in there. Be careful it doesn't spill. Things are always messy. And then we start pumping and measure how much comes out. This one's full, there's one quart. Then empty that into your recycling bin and keep doing it until you see how much fluid came out. In this case, it's one quart and 24 ounces. Put this back into the recycling and we'll put one quart, 24 ounces in. And be sure you use the right fluid. You have to use the CVT only fluid that's made for these things. It's very important. And it's also very important that you change it because as you can see, only a small amount comes out. You're getting some of the dirty stuff out. I never advise flushing them. You could create problems. But if you do this, say every 40,000 miles, odds are you're gonna keep any contaminants from damaging the CVT transmissions, which cost a fortune to rebuild. Now, as long as you have a decent pump, it's an easy job. You just stick the end in that pumps in. It just goes right in the hole and then the other end over here. You stick it in your fluid container. Stick it right in there to the bottom so it doesn't suck air. Then start pumping. Then you put the fill plug with a new gasket on the top. Then bolt the cover back on. So I got two bolts on it. You're best doing this by hand because they're plastic inside and if you use a big wrench or something, you might strip them. Then put the wheel back on. Then I let down the car and you're ready to go. After you close the hood. So now you know how to change the transmission fluid in a Toyota that doesn't have a dipstick. In this case, it was a CVT transmission. Now, all transmissions generally have little bit differences in how you change them. You can get information on any one that you're working on, but the same basic process works for them all because you want to do it right. I've had customers that went to other mechanics. They didn't do it correctly, and later they had transmission problems. If you want it done right, do the research and do it yourself like I do. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, 
Remember to ring that bell!